Hi guys, Nancy here and I'm back with my third Project Life um, layout for my Halo Magpie blog post this month and if I've got two previous videos showing the other two layouts and so I'm now working on the reverse side of that last layout so I do have to bear in mind that I am you know using double and both of those you know some of those cards and this first card here was one of the cases where I'd actually used the card upside down on the other side from what this one was so I'm just going to be using um, a little photo mat and some washi tape in order to cover up the bits that look really kind of upside downy. Um, that sun I am going to kind of leave on there at the bottom and I think just covering up those top bits kind of distracts from the fact that it's upside down. Um, and again I have to be careful and cut off my washi tape rather than wrap it around because I have a photo on the back. So um, keeping this one quite simple and again just using the alphas that came with the collection pack for summer vibes from simple stories and i must admit i'm not overly keen on that green color it's a bit it's not green but um it kind of works with the tones and stuff in the rest of the collection this is a nice and simple card and i don't want to end up adding too much embellishments here so i'm just going to take a little bit of my washi tapes um, and one of the phrase stickers, the small stickers that came on that alpha sheet as well. And as I said, I really like um, how these um, came out. I am just going to swap those around a little bit there, just so I could get the balance of that card right. And as I said, ideally I would have turned that card upside down, but I couldn't because there was bits on the other side. And where I am trying to, I'm running a bit out of that um, blue um, washi tape, I'm just cutting it in half. <laughs> Kind of being a bit scrimping and saving a bit there um, because I really love that washi tape and I don't want it to run out before I actually finish. So I'm just looking here to see if there's any stamps or anything I want to add um, onto this. And I do have this small arrow stamp, and again, I'm just using those stamping off inks because they're the ones I have in my stash. And I'm also going to use the Chamel date stamp to add the date on the top there as well. So just having to round the corners of some of these cards um, because there isn't a card on the other side. And this is a picture um, of uh, one of the cheesecakes we had at the Cheesecake Factory. And this card don't, kind of has that pre-printed sort of design of that vase and flowers. Um, I'm not going to mind too much in covering the top of that, but I think you really can still see what it is. Um, and there is that sort of pre-printed bit on the bottom. so. I don't know, I'm, I'm being a little bit more, I don't know, just kind of like thinking, okay, this card is not 100% perfect um, for that, you know, ideally I wouldn't have that bit on there, but I'm just going to cover it up and go with it, because you do get so many um, sort of cut apart piece, pieces in the collection pack, so um, that is a good thing. And I would say that within the collection pack, I do have all of the 12 by 12 papers still in there, so I do have the opportunity to um, maybe use some more of you know use those as part of my um, main album as well which again will just help link these two because as I said before I am going to add a you know a piece of the journaling that says please go and see the other albums about this whole trip again I'm just using some of that vellum I'm just using my circle punch there just to put that little bit on there just to add a little bit of embellishment so this one, I did end up cutting the photo down slightly, just because it had that large title already built in on that card. Um, so I do just cut it down, and I don't think it really distracts from anything. Um, I don't want to use the um, that kind of top sort of byline, so I am again just going to be covering that up with my washi tape. Um, so again, where you're not 100% sure that the card's going to work for you, I am just covering it up. And using those um, stickers as well. Um, those stickers are, are fab. Some of them are um, too wide to fit on a three by four card, so they were perfectly on these four by four ones. And that's going to give me just enough room to do some journaling on there. This card I kept really simple. I wanted to include two photos from when we went and saw the Dodgers. Um, I didn't really want anything else on here. Um, I'm going to be doing, you know, separate. Um, quite a big sort of photo spread and stuff about this because it did take lots of photos 
So I just want to include two, and again I'm just going to use the slightly larger alpha that came uh, with the collection, the alpha sheet on the collection pack, um, just to add that on there. And I don't think it needs anything else really. I am just going to end up just stating, stamping the date on, and then that card will be done. And I said I really like um, how you know utilizing the pre-printed words as part of my title. So I mean, it could be Dodgers fun, fun Dodgers. I think it's it's fine. Um, so this is one of my favourite cards um, I done because it was one of my favourite things of the trip, which was um, for my birthday we went whale watching. Um, I was a little, I would say I was a little bit, um, I don't know, I wasn't overly excited about going because I thought I don't want to get my hopes up because we may not see any whales and yeah I was, I don't know, I was just like mm, I don't know, but we went um, and we did end up seeing two blue whales, um, we saw one blue whale, two humpbacks, um, we saw a pod of about 40 or 50 dolphins and also a sunfish so that was quite exciting. Um, so of course I'm going to be doing many more layouts about this because it was my birthday treat um, but I really love that kind of pre-printed card with that cloud on, it was kind of quite a busy card but putting those two photos over the top worked really well. And again, I've just used um, a mixture of those October afternoon and the stickers from that stick sheet, and I love how that one looks. So I'm really happy with how those 4x4 cards came together. So now I'm just going to be working on the bottom layer. Um, I do have this lovely um, kind of Polaroid effect card, and I had used the other side, um, and I was going to originally put a photo on it, but I just couldn't get a photo to look right, so I decided to just use this as another filler card as we already had a filler card on the bottom and I'm just going to play about whether I put washi tape on or not I decided not to add the washi tape in the end and just use one of the stickers from the sticker element sheet and then I'm just going to add the date on here as well of course there is the date at the start of these pages but I think just echoing that through is not going to you know, do any harm <laughs> So as I said, I'm just using those October afternoon stickers just to do that. Um, and that's that card done. This card again had um, sort of a pre-printed design on. Um, and that 29 doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so I wanted to try and cover that up. So I'm just going to just play about here as to what I can do and where I'm going to put the photo. And then just build a small... Um, I think I've some, put some embellishments on. I do pull out one of the stamps which is from the LA Studio Let's Eat collection. Um, I did buy lots of bits from that collection and I love that collection. So I'm just using one of the stamps and some of my ink and I'm going to just stamp yum yum because Randy's donuts were somewhere I really wanted to go to and the donuts were very yummy. And as I said, some cards I am keeping super simple um, because I do, you know, want to include a fair bit of journaling on these layouts. So again, just um, using my circle punch just to uh, stamp out. And because there's floral in the background of that card, I'm just picking that up with another little floral there. And then that card is done. Again, this is another card where I want to include quite a bit of journaling. So... I'm not going to add too much embellishment on here. I'm going to be putting some washi tape down um, and again using lots of the offcuts um, and ends of my washi tape and then just steam the photo down. This one is unmounted and then again I'm going to be using these um, alphas that I've used just to add a simple title on top. So I am now going to share the whole completed layout with you so thank you very much guys for watching um, and I'll cut to that now. Hi guys, so I have finished the third spread and um, I really like this one, I did something a little bit different, I didn't kind of use those circular motifs as much or anything like that, um, but I really love how this came out, so I'm just going to show you um, a close up. Um, some of these cards I am actually just using the reverse of, so there's only one card in the pocket, so I did have to be a little bit careful where I was putting things. So here I've just um, written a little bit about the Paramount Studio tour we done. 
and again this is just a nice little journaling card and I am just using that Chamel date stamp to just add the date on here again just another piece of journaling and a picture of one of the lovely cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory and again this is just like pre-printed on this card and I've just used those October afternoon um, stickers um, these two cards were the reverse side so I did have to just be um, a little bit careful with my placement I just trimmed this photo down a little bit more there was um, another little setting up there but I've just covered that up with some washi tape and again I've used my date stamp I haven't done any journaling on here um, we went to um, see the LA Dodgers and it was Hello Kitty plush night so because it was like a Japanese um, night so there's just a couple of photos there and I've just then used um, the stickers off the um, Summer Vibes um, sticker sheet and then this is my birthday treat for my boyfriend where we went whale watching so I've just included some journaling there and again I've got a filler card on here on the bottom I do also have a filler card on this side um, mainly because I wanted to keep it to kind of like the day so I do have two filler cards here on the bottom but I have embellished this one with the date this is Randy's Donuts and then the Grove um, I'm just speaking about a couple of things we did so even though I have a couple of filler cards here on the bottom I think it's going to kind of um, balance itself out with the next page so I'm now going to go on to do the fourth layout um, I hope you're kind of just enjoying seeing how um, I'm creating these pages and I don't want too much bulk on these so I've kept both of these ones um, pretty flat there's no dimensional embellishments on here at all so I may add a few little bit more um, dimensional bits on the next one so thank you very much guys for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon bye